Hello guys. So today we will learn about the FM and PM. We have already dealt with AM and its type like DSPST and SSP. All these things we have already done in previous classes and its coding part is also done and its simulation part is also done. So I have already explained all these things how to do all these coding and why we are doing this everything we have already explained and simulation also we have already explained how to construct a circuit in simulation so these things i am just uh, uh, using all these things in today's experiment of fm and pm in this single experiment we will do fm and pm because you have already studied the ang angle modulation in uh, your theory classes under angle modulation we get fm frequency modulation and we get pm okay phase modulation okay so in ex today's experiment we uh, means angle modulation is a little bit different from am amplitude modulation and we use angle modulation in transmitting low range frequency like for am we use uh, when you listen to your radios you listen fm for uh, songs and music everything and uh, those fm stations are situated in your city only when you will move from your city to some different city then you can't able to listen that same radio station of your previous city so range of fm is quite low you can't exceed those ranges it may be 100 km or 60 km these things these ranges are there so you can't exceed those ranges so this but the quality of fm means the song you listen its quality its bass its travel its everything those things are quite good but uh, I will give you an example like you will listen Vivid Bharti. Vivid Bharti is a national broadcaster. You, uh, means, uh, you will get uh, news and everything on Vivid Bharti. It will give same news on all the districts, all the states, everywhere, you know, all over India. So this is a national broadcaster and most of the people listen this Vivid Bharti. Means in previous time they used to listen. I don't know today nobody listens that but uh, then also so this vivid bharti you can go anywhere and you can tune into that frequency and you can listen vivid bharti so but the quality of the vivid bharti song or news whatever it is the quality is not good so quality is not good because we use amplitude modulation means mainly we used to get the amplitude modulated okay so noise also has been added up in the transmission part and noise amplitude is also we received at the receiver end that's why the quality degrades okay in case of amplitude mode but the range is very much uh, very high okay but here fm quality is very nice but range will decrease so this is the mainly uh, difference and uh, you have already learned these things in your theory classes then also I try to just brush up the thing. Okay, uh, now we will come to the codes. Okay, MATLAB codes. So I have already explained how to open the MATLAB, how to open the script file where from here new and script you can open the script file like this and you can write your code here. Okay, whatever you want. So this close and clear and CLC, I have already explained why you we use these things. Okay, so main code is, starts from this. First, I have explained the time, time span, from which time it will start and on which time it will end and what is the sample, means steps. Okay, so this is our time I'm taking this time duration and you can take something else you can change it and you can see the result okay just do that 
here this is the frequency of message signal i am taking 2 hertz because uh, in fm we were taking 10 hertz 20 hertz for message signal of modulated signal okay and we have taken 100 hertz or 200 hertz for carrier signal frequency but here this is 2 and the carrier signal is 10 so you can see the frequency is low amplitude 1 of message signal 2 of carrier signal you can put it 1 and 1 both no problem and this is the angular frequency 2 pi fm of message signal 2 pi fc of carrier signal and here comes the frequency sensitivity of fm you have already studied this frequency sensitivity of fm in your theory classes so i don't get into depth of it mainly this is the sensitivity what we give and what we will get at the output side so this is how we defined it so for f uh, kf kf is frequency sensitivity it is 5 i am defining at 5 you can change it to 1 or 2 or 4 whatever you want and similarly we use phase sensitivity also so you can see the phase sensitivity this is this will be used for pm phase modulation so it is also 5 and keeping it both on 5 now i will come to message signal this is our message signal mp and as you know the message signal is quite simple am into sine wave of angular frequency wm into t and carrier signal ct this is also same ac into sine wave of wct now we will come to the modulated signal fm i have named it as fm only and fm if you remember the formula the formula is like this ac cos and inside this theta we used to change because this both of this are angular modulation so we will change in angle of cos theta in amplitude we are not changing in the angle we have changed the amplitude but here we have changed into angle so you can see this is the angular frequency of carrier signal we are using as it is wct into t plus we have added our message signal like this means 2 pi kf you know 2 pi into kf is just a constant and this is cum sum of mt why we uh, we are using cum sum cum sum is used in place of integrator when you will see the formula of fm we use integration of mt okay so for that integration we are using cumulative sum of mt same integration is also the summation only and basically if you will see so we are using cum sum instead of integration here so same as it is so this is the fm modulated signal now we will come to pm in case of pm we are using same formula it will go but till wct formula will be same but here we will not integrate our mt we will just multiply it with our phase modulated uh, with our phase sensitivity which is kp okay we are just multiplying it so uh, this is the mainly difference between fm and pm that's why i opted to show you this both fm and pm in one experiment only so we can't go for another experiment for pm because this is quite simple and quite similar both are quite similar okay that's why i use this in one experiment and uh, this is the plot you know already i have explained why i am using sub plot because i am plotting different different signals in one plot only in in one figure only so that's why uh, we have used four rows and one column is there and on first position we are using message signal plotting and for plotting t t is the time and the empty is the message signal similarly subplot on second position i am using carrier signal to be plotted on third i am using this fm to be plotted 
and on fourth I'm using this pm to be plotted okay so this is our matlab code quite simple don't have to do very much coding on this okay so just save this whatever the you have written save it and uh, run it from here and you can see the output here so above first one is our message signal which is quite simple you have already know what is it is this one simple sign wave second one is carrier signal but the frequency is increased that's why it came like this with larger frequency in comparison to message signal third one is fm modulated signal so i have already told our in this our frequency will not change it will be same as carrier frequency you can see minus 2 to 2 of carrier frequency and fm modulated signal frequency is also minus 2 to 2 but the frequency uh, amplitude will not change sorry for that and our frequency will change so you can see some zigzag 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 frequency at some duration and after that you will get some simple frequency i will zoom this and you can see see this zigzag zigzag frequency and for some duration we are getting some high frequency and some low frequency here this is the low frequency and uh, this is the high frequency so the zigzag 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 okay so this is how we uh, this is the modulated signal of fm that's how a receiver detects that at some frequency this is low and some frequency this is high but in case of pm pm modulated this is phase modulated so you can see the phase changes at some frequency in comparison to carrier signal if you will see this this has lower phase this has higher phase so this will phase phase means angle will change in fm frequency will change and in pm angle will change phase will change it will convert from 0 to 90 to 180 like that degree so this is how fm and pm modulation is done using coding you have to do this and uh, this is your experiment number seven and uh, for experiment number eight you have to do the simulation of both FM and PM. I will not show you the simulation of PM, but I will show you the simulation of FM here. So this is our simulation part. I have already explained how to connect this circuit in previous classes, how to connect this circuits and how to get the output. So I have already explained it. So I'm not going to use uh, to do the explanation again and again every time just go for my previous videos and you will get the explanation part okay so this is the sine wave okay i am using you can see the amplitude is one frequency is two and sample time is one by one thousand this is the integrator i am using because we have to multi uh, integrate our message signal sine wave is for message signal and this is the integrator everything is on default position only. this is just the constant we are using for FC. FC means carrier frequency. This is 20. Okay. And this is the gain for TF, which is frequency sensitivity. Okay. And we are summing it. Means first, this is integrated, then multiplied with the gain. Then we have summed it with our frequency. And then we have multiplied with 2 pi. This is also a constant gain. 2 pi because this kf is 5 by uh, this is x by 2 pi equal to 5 and which 2 pi will be multiplied here and this will remove the 2 pi then again this whole system will get into cos and it will be under cos okay then again gain gain is for amplitude a multiplied with amplitude and this is the cos okay wait for some time okay so this uh, you understand this why we are using 2 pi this fc into 2 pi will be there as you can see into formula this omega ct into uh, yeah it will be omega ct 
omega for giving this omega C T, we need this two pi F C. Okay, so we are making this omega C. Okay, here using twenty into two pi means with sum with this, and this K F we are using. We have to multiply this K F also with two pi. As you can see, this K F will also be multiply with two pi. Okay, that's why you are using two pi. Okay, and integration is for the message signal. Okay. Okay. So uh, you understand this. You have understand this, and uh, that's why we have multiplied with two pi. Then we put all these thing into cos function as we have done in here. We have put all these things into cos function. and then we have multiplied with ac okay we have multiplied with ac so ac is just the gain simple one we have put it into one and then we have used scope to observe the output okay quite a simple circuit nothing much and uh, from here we will observe the output okay i haven't run it again i will run it again from here. then we will observe the output here and as you can see what we have observed in matlab code output waveform that uh, this is this is the signal frequency where frequency is high so this is quite zigzag and here you will see the frequency is low so this is quite low so there is um, uh, duration is high okay because frequency is low so this is how we do the modulation of fm okay in simulink you can see the output and you can change the constant values and you can observe the output again i will change the value of this fc from 20 to 10 i will and then i will run it again and uh, then again i will change the output. Uh, see the output. So you can see uh, not much changes. Okay, this is almost same. Little bit difference is there, but uh, you have to observe it closely. You have to measure the uh, bandwidth, all these things. Then you can able to observe the changes. So this is how we do the FM modulation and in simulink and PM modulation in simulink. is also quite easy but you have to do it by yourself this is your task okay pm modulation and for the demodulation we will uh, do that demodulation demodulation in next part means in next experiment so this is your experiment in number 7 and 8 okay the simulation one is your eighth experiment and uh, coding part was your seventh experiment the coding and don't forget to save all these things okay save it in one folder and save this also in one folder okay everything should be save and you have to attach the screenshot of these diagrams and waveforms the output waveforms and everything and then you have to submit the lab report okay so this is how we do experiment okay so that's all for today thank you